know, I almost went the wrong way. This is the right way. My first view I climbed for about 45 minutes that's where I've been Anybody that has hiked with me knows that I don't complain much going up, but I don't like going down. And I think there's going to be some of that, some downs, but it's a pretty nice view. Hi everybody, this is Ewok, my first day on the Appalachian Trail. Well, it's my first day since 1991. Um, I started today where I left off then at Unicoi Gap. Uh, this year it's mile 52.3. And I went to, I'm all by myself. I hardly saw any hiker. Well, I saw one hiker going my same direction and one, I met one hiker, so... Um, I, I guess I'm not in the bubble, but I'm currently at Steel Trap Gap, uh, so that is uh, about seven, seven miles, but then you see Steel Trap Gap, water, five miles east, I mean, a half mile east, so I went eight miles because I had to go down and get water, and that's one reason I stopped early, because I was running low on water, and the next good water is about three miles and I figured for the first day I'd quit while I was ahead at call it eight miles since I had to go get water but um, this is just the trail is just kind of right up there on that little ridge and other people have camped here but it's not uh, really a designated campsite. I just kind of wanted to get my tent up. It's been um, raining most of the day, but it was good because I climbed some hills, and that's the other thing I wanted to show you. So this is the um, guidebook. But see, if you turn it like this, I climbed one hill, Rocky Mountain, and then I was so worried because Trey Mountain, as you see, is higher. I was like, oh my gosh, Rocky Mountain was so hard. I'm going to die. And I got to the top and I didn't die. And then I was going down and I went, wow. Um, so I didn't fall. I didn't get cold. I didn't get hot. My waterproof socks. Kind of a mess. But... Those are my gaiters. I wore the tights Mary Ellen made me. And then these are my waterproof socks. This. And I can tell you I walked in rain all day and uh, my feet are dry. Uh, they're a little more bulky than a normal sock, but they're not too bad. Oh, what's for dinner? Um, <laughs> that hee-haw. So, I'm eating a... I'm still not very hungry, but I know I need to eat epic Wagyu beef strip. Gluten-free. It tastes all right. And this tastes really good. I'm having a... Um, one of my blueberry shakes. It's in a bag in this cup, so I can just, um, the bag is going to be the only thing that's dirty, not the cup. Um, 
but I had a little sip of it a minute ago, and it's it's just what I feel like. I feel like drinking something rather than eating something, but um, I'm eating that just because I think I should. Okay, so everything went really good. It's raining. I don't care. I mean, it's cool, and that's um, really kind of what I care about. When I, especially when I'm climbing up hills. But it's a little cold. I was sweating, and um, I'll take you out here a little bit. Um, so I took off my sweaty coat, clothes, and put on dry ones. That's the trail where I came from. See the uh, white blaze kind of down there? And there's another one. That's where I'm going tomorrow. Uh, but I enjoyed my first day and I kind of wanted to not overdo it. And this, I should have taken a camera down there, is a blue blazed trail. There's another blue blaze. I don't know if you can tell, but it sort of um, drops off. Uh, pretty um, steeply. And there's a really pretty creek down there but I tell you what there will be uh, so many of the people who are vlogging they I don't know what they're doing they have selfie sticks or something but um, I cannot walk and do this with a pack on if you if you look a little bit farther down there's another blue blaze but it goes half mile and it's straight down into that ravine, really pretty creek, but, so that was my extra mile, going down one bad, coming up was not good, anyway, this is where I am, first night on the Appalachian Trail, this is day two, I'm climbing up and out of Steel Trap Gap, stuff is missed. Yes, it's raining. Cool old tree. And that's where I'm going. I've seen a lot of cool rocks on the trail, of course. Um, but there's a lot of quartz. A lot of really pretty pieces that normally I'd pick up, but I'm not carrying anything else. It's still raining. This is still day two, and I'm still walking. This is Ewok, signing off. The trail is slick in places on these, um, Leaves, mud, still raining. Um, but I've been remembering on every downhill what my friend Crow said be a tripod and always have one stick on the ground instead of swinging them both forwards like I want to do. A little mist. I don't know if you can read this sign, but it says, Swag of the Blue Ridge. I don't know where that is. Look at these, look at these crazy trees. I don't know what they are.
So it's 10 o'clock on my second day. My goal is Dix Creek Gap, 5.3 miles. This is Addis Gap, obviously. Trail goes up there. This is a campsite. And that's it. So if I can make it to Dix Creek Gap today, R2E2 can pick me up and I can sleep in the camper, take a shower. So that's my goal for 5.3 miles. I ought to be able to do that. Uh, yesterday had a couple of big hills. Today has a bunch of smaller annoying hills. This all day. There's rarely a flat part on the trail. Kind of in a little gap. That's where I came down. trying to make it to Dix Creek Gap, which is near Hiawassee. That's my goal. Day two, the top of that hill, totally different vegetation. I've been walking through hardwood forest most of the day. And this is still hardwood, but... Trail's a little squishy, but not too bad. 